my goodness. <laughs> So tell us what time it is. Um, 3.15, I think, around about that. This time we, uh, Fraser drops me off and uh, he heads up to get the cows and I unplug the electric fence and feed the calves and put through the gates so that the cows go in the right place. And then uh, we start the milking. <laughs> This is an iodine uh, peak dip. We'll dip the cow's peak. We do it. We do it before we put the milker on, and then we'll wipe it off. Put the milker on, and then once the milker comes off, we'll dip them again. It just protects the teeth, the teeth end from uh, flies or dirt or anything. finished and it's been a quick morning. Most of our cows are crossbred. Uh, we do have purebred Jersey and we do have purebred Holstein. Um, this cow is probably a cross with a milk and shorthorn and a Holstein. This one's, uh, she's probably a cross between a Jersey. You can kind of see it in her face a little bit. Basic object is to turn clover. Clover is the most important crop we grow into uh, milk. It goes through a number of processes to get through, whether it be the rumen in the cow or and she milking the cows or me running the processing unit. So we're basically a, a one crop farm and uh, it's all to do with grazing management. We want to maintain clover in our pastures. If we overgraze pastures, we lose the clover and then we have to reseed. Virtually all seeding is done in the spring and this year was really good because it was a dry spring and we could get it in fast and furious. So we're not on a no-till system. I mean, at the moment, there's a big push on no-till, but in most cases, people are using glyphosate to control the weeds prior to no-tilling. And in our feeling, we don't want to use those herbicides and we cannot use them if we want to maintain certification in organic. We, we are, at the present time, the only certified organic dairy farm east of Quebec. It's very difficult being one and only east of Quebec because we're not getting the market advantages that the Quebec and Ontario and the rest of Canada get. So that's why we moved into further processing of the product. That was sitting at 4.12 butter fat, so that's what the customer will be buying this week. Our customer base likes to see the cream on top of the milk. Homogenization breaks down the cream and is spread throughout the milk, so you don't get any 
butter fat on the top for the bottle. The butter fat's still in the milk, but our customers like to see the butter fat uh, on the top of the milk. And they can see also we on our label is grass fed, so they know it's going to be higher butter fat. I grew up on a dairy farm in north, the northeast of England, Northumberland, and uh, I just naturally like dairy cows. We came to Noidart in 1998. We came to Canada in 1978. We were lucky enough at that time to uh, be able to afford to buy a dairy farm, which the young ones can't do now. Supply management certainly was a big factor in that. In the, initially we only had 35 cows in and Britain, again, yes. in nowhere else in the world could you make 35 cows and make a living and supply management gave you that security. Did you define supply management? So we're managing the supply to, to equal the Canadian market and that's right across Canada. In the short term what we're doing is producing for a market and we produce enough for that market, no more, no less. So it produced a guaranteed market at a guaranteed price. Supply management started in the 70s and has evolved somewhat since then, but needs to evolve further now. In agriculture, one of the things, when I look back in our history, we were very divorced from the consumer. The consumer is the market, and we must produce a product for that market but we also must produce it with a margin. A lot of agriculture worldwide produces a commodity for an unknown market with no margin and relies on being subsidized out of things, this type of thing. Sure, for the environment we work in, weather and this type of thing, we do need some help, but farming must get into its head, agriculture, the industry as a whole, that we must produce a product, not a commodity. We must produce it for a market, not an unknown market, and we must produce it with a margin. Hey girls. I, when I was younger, I liked the tractor work more, I think, but now as I get older, I seem to, seem to be liking the cows a little more. Are your parents thinking of retiring? Yes, hopefully. Um, I'm sure they would love to retire, but I need their help and I will, uh, I'll have to find some help when they retire. Well, we're tired, but I'm not sure <laughs> we'll retire, but... We will eventually. Our, our bodies will give out on us and, and we'll have to retire. Probably 20 years ago, we started a succession plan in that we had a conversation with all three sons who wanted to farm, who didn't want to farm, and Adam was the one that wanted to farm. You have to realise that um, when we had all of those small farms with the few cattle and uh, whatever else and sheep and things, the young ones that grew up on those farms found that it was easier uh, to go and live in the city and get a good job in the city, uh, making more money than sort of the hard work on the farm. But I think now that they're realising that, uh, you know, that money that they earn in the city is... Uh, isn't all that it's made out to be. And of course, a lot of them want to come back to the farm now, so maybe things are changing a little bit. There's only two things you can never get back. One is time and the other is soil. So you have gotta look after the soil because that's what's gonna create your wealth in the long term. You can be environmentally sustainable and not financial, so you aren't gonna survive. You can be financially sustainable and kill the environment. So we've gotta work with those two together. In Canada, in Nova Scotia, the Atlantic provinces, we have so much land and so much potential as long as we get our values right. That's a nice way. I don't have anything else to add. Unless you have anything else you want to keep anything on rolling. Else you want? I can keep rolling all night. Yeah. 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 Said too much already. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I was told not to say anything. Exactly. <laughs>